broken. That is a broken blazer with track. Well, we're back in the freight liner. We got the snow cat on back. So we are headed back up to Skyline Mountain Resort. If any of you have watched any of the four videos between our part one and part two and Heavy D's part one and part two, you may have noticed a blazer. So we're gonna get this blazer off the road and out of the way. Are we hooked up? It was in our way, we moved it, Dave plowed the road, there's a bunch of snow that's basically encapsulated it on the side of the road now. Well, we're not gonna leave the blazer. Got Hillbilly in the F550. He's got a skid loader with the bucket today. I've got Demry with me with the snowcat on back. We're gonna be headed up and we're gonna use skis. Yeet? What's a yeet? Yeet! Now, by skis, we're gonna be using hoods that act as skis because the front end of this blazer is totally locked up. So, we're gonna be putting, lifting it up, putting hoods under it, strapping the hoods down, and we're gonna skate that thing to the bottom. All right, so there's been a lot of people saying that we just came up here and wreaked havoc and destroyed stuff. I'm gonna show you. We came up, plowed the road, groomed the road, and it's dang smooth. The first time that we came up here, we dang near couldn't even drive because the ruts from the snowmobiles were so deep. We never touched dirt, plowed about a foot of snow off of it, but we didn't wanna hurt the roads. We weren't up here to wreak havoc. We were up here to do a job and to get a machine off the mountain. So we're gonna show you the beauty of Skyline Mountain Resort today and just what it looks like after one snowstorm after coming up here. We made it. We're having a debate in true hillbilly fashion. What'd you say? I said a lot of things. There's smoke coming off the snowcat. It's because there was, there still kind of is. There's steam coming off of the snowcat, not smoke. Which is a form of smoke. No, steam is when water, I don't know the whole science behind it, but it's water vaporizing into steam. Smoke is from fire, something is burning. Guess what, you have to have fire to have steam. Steam's a form of smoke. All right, internet, I say steam is water that's boiled and evaporated or whatever happens. He thinks it's smoke. I think it's a form of smoke. <laughs> form of whatever. Do your thing, guys. Keep in mind, Hillbilly's always right no matter what. So drop the science behind it so we can make him wrong, but he'll still be right. Look at how much snow is up here just from not even a week ago. Yeah. Look at that destroyed road. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we gotta get this thing started, but we can't get the doors open. So, Hillbilly's gonna jump in the skid loader. We're gonna hurry and just clear this berm off, get the blazer started so it can be warming up because we're gonna drive the blazer on skis so that it can kind of push and assist with the tracks. But the front tied down, I think it's gonna work. So we'll get to, we'll get to working. Careful, you're going in. Will it open? Checking. This thing is solid ice. I think next, you need to just scoop. All right, it opens a little bit. So I'm gonna get this started. So it can warm up. We had this cleaned off twice, but all this snow just keeps on coming down. All right, Hillbilly, you can come up here. We gotta push and clear about 20 feet ahead. We're getting close to having this portion dug out. Pick out all that portion. So we've got the front pretty well dug out to where we think we can lift it over. Now we're gonna finish getting the deck back all dug out and then we're gonna try to pivot this onto the road. So 
we've got it pretty well dug out. Hillbilly's gonna just drag the road a little bit, try to smooth things up so we don't look like we came in and just destroyed everything. Got the blazer all started. We're gonna lift it, turn it into the road, get some skis under it. You ready? Yeah. I'm just gonna let it winch itself. Just kidding. Try to lift. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm gonna get in and try to drive it. Okay, ask him if he's ready. You ready? Red eye. Real easy. ice definitely frozen track so we're gonna get those broke free real quick i think we should lift it back spin them no billy are they are they both spinning yeah okay cool we got them unfrozen okay set it down okay very slowly go Get back up a little. Hold that. Whoa, whoa. Go up a little. So now we're out of the hole. I think we got the hard spot done. Now we're gonna lift it, get some skis under it, and hopefully get it down the mountain. Hey, hold it. Hey, it's like an, it's like an off-road wrecker. Once you get those underneath there, you should see if it'll drive under its own power. I bet it will, but it won't turn. nowhere to grab it. Okay, set it down. Very slowly. Actually, hold on. Okay, down. I'm going to unwind the winch and then wind it back in. Like that. All right, so we've got this all strapped up on skis. My gloves got snow in them. So we're gonna attempt to see if our ski job will drive it all. Because if it'll drive, I'm just gonna drive it down. So will you, Hillbilly, hurry move the snow cat just real quick? How does snow get all the way in the fingers of this? All right, so far so good. I was able to move on its own power. So Hillbilly's just gonna kinda groom this a little bit and I'm just gonna drive as far as I can down the mountain. Hopefully the whole way. All right, so we've had to decide who goes where. So we got the boss in the skid loader. She's never driven one ever. So obviously she's never driven it in snow, but we just gave her a rundown tutorial on how to drive it. What are these buttons? Don't touch them. Don't touch no buttons. We've got the bucket up and she's just gonna throttle it and go forward. I'm gonna be in the blazer Bottom. trying to skate this thing to the bottom. Hillbilly's gonna be in whiskers. And we're gonna get to the bottom of this hill. What do you think? Are you excited? 
No. Why? I don't know what I'm doing. Well, you're gonna do great. Where's the brake? Good luck. I love you. Bye. Okay, let's go. Oh, she's coming. She's just going a little slow. It's her first time, so we're gonna cut her some slack. She just gave me a big thumbs up. Everything's going pretty good. The only problem is I cannot steer this, so I'm relying on the ruts that Whiskers is digging for my front skis to kind of follow. Well, we got the caboose right behind us. She's just chugging along, pulling up the back. She's even more happy now that she gets to drive the skid loader than when she was to write the check to buy it. Pretty sure they put it on turtle mode for me. You tell me, is that turtle mode? Can it go faster? <laughs> Oh yeah, it can go a lot faster. Everything's going pretty good and I'm super happy that this is going good because we're gonna get this off the mountain and we're gonna go get us some Cavalier pizza. How was your ride? Good, yours? Everything was great, other than I have no steering whatsoever. The hood's a little bit folded more. Yes, because I kept... Oh, like she's trying to do that. Demery's just being a child, doing victory laps in her new toy. But all in all, we're down. We're gonna get this loaded up. We're gonna leave it on the hood, so it'll actually go up the bed, and take it into town and drop it off at a mechanic shop for him. I found rabbit mode. Did you? Yep. She found rabbit mode. Dang it. We just made it back up here to Fairview. We're at Skyline Mountain Resort. So we've met up with the manager. His name is Kim. He's going to tell us a little bit about the resort here because this is a destination. This is somewhere that any of you can come out and rent a spot or a cabin. He's gonna kind of explain what Skyline Mountain Resort is. Yeah, hey, uh, they just come down, they made a great rescue, uh, got a blazer down that was been stuck up there, had some broken parts to it. One thing I did wanna make sure of is that everybody that sees this, I want them to know that they've left this place and the roads that they've used up there in, in better condition than they were when they got here. Tell us a little bit about That's the resort. Great. If somebody wants to come here and stay, how do they do it? Well, we have a website, skylinemountainresort.com. But yeah, come down and see us. We've got a golf course, UGA rated, swimming pool, tennis courts, pickleball courts, cabins for rent. There's almost 50 RV spots. People really love it. Then come down here and enjoy all of the community events down below. If you guys are considering coming to San Pete County, which is where we're at, make sure you stop by the shop, come say hi, get you an RV spot or a cabin up here at Skyline Mountain Resort. We're 15 minutes away. So you can bring your family, come and play. You got the Arapine trails. You got all sorts of stuff to do recreationally on the Skyline Drive here in San Pete County. So this would be a great place for you to stay and go out and have some fun. Anyway, we appreciate it. Thanks, Robbie. Hopefully, appreciate that. Yeah, hopefully we yeah. don't have any more rescue. But if we do, we'll be if, back. If we do, we'll call Robbie. All right, so we got done. We got our victory snack. We got pizza, but don't worry. I got cauliflower crust, so I'm still, still being healthy. But if you guys want the best pizza in town, when you're in San Pete County, make sure you go to Cavalier Pizzas in Mount Pleasant. It is the best pizza, other than pizza in New York, what is the best pizza you can get in town? That's Cavalier Pizzas. Make sure and check them out. All right, another successful recovery. As always, we appreciate you. If you enjoy this video, go check out this one.